Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream and it's a bit windy, looks like a storm's trying to pop up here and is that going to be an issue with our antenna? What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. So as I showed on Facebook, uh, we added an antenna to the RV and this is by no means permanent and it is makeshift and I don't know how long it's going to last but I only had about six dollars in stuff, uh, materials, <laughs> to put it together. So let me go ahead and give you an overview of this thing. And this is basically uh, just kind of a makeshift antenna because what I was doing before was bolting it to the cover here, the road cover that covers the window, and uh, to the struts that go up and down to support that. And quite honestly, I didn't like the way that it looked, and I had to leave the windows open <laughs> for the cable to run in. I had to push the screens out of the way, so bugs were trying to get in also. Um, this isn't going to be permanent, um, but we wanted to get something up uh, just to try it out, just to see if there was going to make a difference. And I didn't know how tall I was going to go. I didn't know if I needed to have something that was thicker and bigger and heavier to support the weight that's up there I just didn't know any of these things and now you're going to know because I'm experimenting for you uh, basically this is stainless steel conduit uh, I've had this laying around forever I still got quite a bit of it and it's uh, three three foot sections and I put it together with not only these uh, couplers that are meant for plumbing um, but also there is some slip fit copper in there uh, basically copper joints uh, that fit this pipe inside I think this is three quarter inch if I'm not mistaken and it slipped right inside the copper uh, so there's copper sleeve holding the two pieces together and then uh, this uh, is compressing it and holding it further out uh, the way I got those copper sleeves to go into that plastic is I heated up the copper and then I pushed it all in whenever it was hot uh, to melt the plastic uh, a little tricky to do, but it got done. And then up top there, all I did was just uh, put uh, the round tube in a vise and squeezed it flat and then drilled a couple holes for the mounting. And that's how the uh, directional antenna got mounted. And then ran the cable down that comes with the WeBoost 4G, uh, the RV version. So it's the uh, RV 4GX or 4 G X R V, <laughs> a lot of letters and I'm a little confused sometimes. Uh, but the main thing was is uh, just getting it to clamp up against the side of the RV, which uh, these do, but they're plastic. They're not, you know, very strong overall. And uh, made a bracket for it to to rest on. And then I had to keep it from turning in the wind, so I just put a hose clamp on that just to keep it from turning. Uh, then I went and bought a cable port. And this is the uh, type of port you'd buy at the RV store, RV shop, whatever. And it would have a pass-through that you would screw the cable onto. The problem with that is a couple things. First of all, I wanted to keep one constant piece of cable here. I didn't want to have to have a connection other than what's already up there. And also, the ohm rating of the little butt connector or the little uh, end connector that is built into this is different uh, than what this cable called for and the system called for. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I kept the same ohm rating. So all I did was push that thing out. I bought, you know, with uh, obviously the, the cable connection here uh, would be where you normally screwed onto and then just drilled a hole through it and the RV. Put some, uh, you know, fun stuff behind here some of that uh, putty I can't even remember what it's called now <laughs> my brains not working and uh, then tightened it all down and of course whenever we go I just uh, unscrew it from inside pull the cable out and then just lift this whole thing off and then these two pieces I can disconnect and then this will fit in the back of the truck no problem it's it's you know just long and if it I got push for space I could disconnect the other one too so let's go inside and see what it looks like in there it's dark and messy in here so let's see if we can get uh, some lighting going on to help out a little bit very little it looks like so this is the so this is the inside 
and what I did was mount it the cradle in the wall um, this is the antenna that you place throughout the RV to go uh, wherever you need it to to give you a, a good strong signal we may want it to where there's a strong signal here um, or we might want it to where there's a strong signal in the back uh, for whatever device we may have hooked up in the back and our RV's not that long uh, but right now we'll just leave it loose and find what's going to be best and I'll experiment you know with placement of this but you can see the cable comes in from outside it's pretty open there's nothing uh, special right now about the inside and how I have it sealed off I'll change that at some point most likely I'll, I'll find something that works and uh, then the excess cable uh, runs down behind the couch and then I bring it back up and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of out of the way, but not really. It's uh, it's still not the way that I would want it. Um, maybe I'll make a couple of uh, uh, you know some sort of a wire connector that makes it look a little bit no more neat. I, I'm just not sure yet. I don't know how I want to do it. And this is better than uh, temporary like I had before. And I'll give you some sort of an update on down the road on how well it works and. If it's going to be something that we want to continue with as far as um, this setup or if we want to do something different with the antenna outside so that's the basic layout of what I did to get that antenna up in the air and so I can try that directional to see if it really works if it brings in signal better than that Omni antenna now if I wanted to and I mentioned to Bob D's on Facebook Bob if you're watching this I appreciate the question and the comment that was really good I appreciate all the comments that I get on everything uh, but he talked about mounting it on the antenna and I could have mounted it on the antenna here as far as Weeboo saying that the cable should be okay that's already built into the antenna system, I'm not real sure because a lot of them have built-in amplifiers and stuff, uh, and I don't know how that works. Um, like in my case, I know if I leave the amplifier off, it's okay. I'm not boosting a boosted signal. That's the worst thing you could do is boost a signal that's already been boosted. It causes so much noise. Um, I could leave it off and I think it acts as a pass-through but it still allows a lot of different you know interference uh, and potential for interference so I'm not hundred percent sure I just don't know I don't know how I feel about it uh, again we boost they're the experts so if they say you know not a big deal then sure not a big deal but what I was going to do is mount actually some sort of a pole onto one of those two square poles with a hose clamp to where when I lifted up the antenna, it lifted up the WeBoost antenna. Now, if I had the omnidirectional one that came in the kit, which I do, I do have it, um, that would be great because it doesn't make a difference where I have to point the antenna to make the TVs work to pick up the over-the-air signal, the over-the-air digital signal, which we do use, Heidi and I. Um, because the antenna is omnidirectional that round one it doesn't care where it's pointed it's just picking up a signal from a distance now if you get in a really tough situation though and you're not picking up much of a signal that's where you have the directional where you can point right at the tower that you're trying to pick up it's a very narrow beam and it goes a long ways so I wanted that I definitely wanted that so I talked over with Heidi and asked her if she wanted me to mount the directional antenna on the TV antenna and do the same thing um, and then I explained to her that you know if we want internet if we want a connection if I'm uploading a video or something whichever way that antenna needs to point give us a real strong cell signal or data signal um, that's gonna have to be where it points and that may mean that we may not pick up any TV whatsoever inside here well of course if we're uploading videos or downloading videos uh, or doing anything on the internet um, you know, you can't stream TV at the same time as you're trying to upload videos without affecting the speed uh, to the point where those uploaded videos would take forever to get uploaded. So in this case, uh, our entertainment would be the TV uh, whenever we're doing that. Um, I don't know. We could probably do something with the computer and we could probably uh, use it to uh, broadcast movies through storage, you know, or hard drives or something like that. But 
I think this is going to be best for now, but uh, you can. You can mount this directional antenna on top of your regular antenna in the manner that I just talked about. And I'm talking about one of these Weingart uh, TV antennas. And it will do the job. It will you know, put the signal above and beyond everything that's on the RV. But I, again, I, I think I'd like to not mess around with that antenna too much. I'm happy that it works as good as it does for the TV. And uh, we're going to continue to use it for a TV. So that's it, guys. And as always, we hope to see you out there. Bye.